a recall over pandemic learning. It's what some school board members are facing in McPherson. Brett Bogansky explains why some feel the accusations are based on misinformation. Some school board members feel the entire recall effort is based on students wearing masks in the classroom. That was a requirement from the district. It is not a requirement anymore, but nonetheless, some school board members are now fighting to keep their seat. Some people didn't like it. We understand that. The vice president of the McPherson School Board, Ann Elliott, is one of three school board members facing a recall election later this month after a group got hundreds of signatures and is accusing board members of not being transparent, not listening to the public, and also requiring students to wear masks in schools. That's not ever something as school board member we thought we would have to discuss either, but that's the situation we were in and we were trying to do what's best for all of the students. We reached out to the man behind the recall effort, Clinton Sides, for an on-camera interview. After he initially said yes, he then asked us for all of the questions we were going to ask him ahead of time. Now, that's something that we did not offer any of the board members for the story, nor do we offer that for any elected official for any other story that we do at KSN. And that's when Sides said he was unavailable, and then he gave us a statement. In a statement, he said this recall is not solely about masks, not about books, not about maintenance, taxes or bonds. It's about this board's lack of transparency and refusal to listen to the community that put them in office. He also accused the district of low test scores and teaching things like critical race theory and transgender indoctrination, as well as misusing tax dollars. Last year, the State Board of Education confirmed that critical race theory is not taught in Kansas public schools, saying, unfortunately, there are some who are conflating CRT with education equity. These concepts and practices are not interchangeable. Educational equity refers to federal and state policies and requirements for measuring achievement, fairness, and opportunity in education. Elliott said this recall effort is based on misinformation and false accusations. If you could go back, would you do anything differently? No, you know, we didn't make a popular decision um, sometimes, although there were plenty of people who were certainly in favor of masks. That was Brett Bergansky reporting. Early voting is underway. Election day is May 24th.